When was the last time you saw Ajoku? The group that I represent, all we want for you to do is to call a halt to the fire. We will not allow him to destabilize our nation. Yes, sir. The regime wants him silenced with nothing traced to us. But that will require placing a hold on secession. Yes. And yes. that is the sticky point, Wally. The Igbos were nothing but an excuse for the military and the mafia to not do the actual work of nation building. Mm. And that, my friend, is carrying out the aims of January 15th. You should be in class teaching. Why are you always disturbing the peace of the land? The last time you held up a radio station with a gun. Hey, stop that. Now you are in bed with Ojuku. Why? I think we need a group of new entrants into this war. So that we can neutralize the two combatants. Absolutely. A third force that will work in terms of a compromise for the people. Wally, speak all the grammar you want. But this, <laughs> this is not the way to go about it. So what will you have me do, Bola? I have a message that could end this war and bring about peace. Supporting the evils against this nation does not look like a decision an intelligent old man like you should make. Because when a people have been subjected to a degree of inhuman violation, for which there's no other word but genocide, I believe very strongly that they have a right to seek an identity apart from their aggressors. You know, when I see you fighting each other, and then the warders fighting you and you fighting each other, do you know what I see? I see this nation. Hmm? Have you heard the story about the red ants and the black ants in the jar? You know, they're all going about their business, you know, doing their thing, until someone shakes the jar. And then the ants, they start to, to fight each other. Now, why the red and black ants are fighting is a secondary issue. The urgent question is, who shook the bloody jar?